All right, so today I decided I wanted to revisit this Mina right here in PvP because before I don't feel like the showcase I did did her justice because I only had her up to like board seven or eight at the time of her showcase. And since the times five drop rates have come out, I was able to get the new full 100% Deku, uh, all of his boards completely done, as well as this Mina's boards completely done for the basic route. So I feel like now she is going to perform a lot better in PvP than she was performing before. As for how far I have her progressed, I only have her up to level 100. I did not get any additional copies of her, unfortunately. I feel like she becomes a lot better when you're able to get her to level 130, especially damage-wise, but when you only have her at level 100, she's more there for like the utility that she offers to the team. So we'll see. I guess maybe I could be wrong. Hopefully now that I got her ability board like pretty much all the way done, I, I am wrong and she'll do a little bit more damage, but you can see board 13 finished her beast route completely done and dx beast route has nothing done on it so really quickly before we hop into the showcase let me go over what she does with you guys really quickly so on her plus ultra move uh, she can cancel four uh, of the opponent's temporary buffs and she can block their buffs for two turns that is pretty dang good and then if we continue on action skill one is called acid shot and what this can do is it can cancel two of their temporary buffs as well and it also has a medium chance of blocking their buffs for two turns so basically the plus ultra and skill one very similar except for the plus ultra guarantees blocking buffs whereas this one only has a medium chance to block the buffs and then this one cancels four this one cancels two so very similar in what they do four turn cooldown as well pretty good action skill two for mina this one is the one that just does a lot of stuff it gives crit hit rate gives uh HP restoration, it gives skill impact up, and it also gives a last stand. It gives a lot of things, right? So really good skill, like utility wise right there. And then her auto skill one is called Fearless Heart, and this is going to reduce action skill impact damage to the character by 30% as long as her HP is 50% or higher. It's going to regenerate the HP of all allies by 30% for three turns after one turn passes without being affected by action skill damage down up to one time and then gives all allies the ability to make a last stand two times after two turns pass without being affected by action skill damage down and then her skill auto skill 2 mid-range support increases speed of all allies by 30 percent when character's hp is 50 percent or higher so that is a turn one speed advantage that is really good and then after two turns pass while the character is making a last stand increases critical hit rate of all allies by 30 percent for two turns and restores the hp of all allies by 15 percent up to five times so that is is honestly all very very good in my opinion so mina very decent character this is the team we are going to be attempting to run her on we have action skill cooldown with both of these characters bakugo is going to be our main damage so i don't know how this is going to go hopefully we can beat this team we're going to start with this team here going against the new foe 100 deku and we're just going to see can mina beat foe 100 deku so with that said let's hop in all right so here we go i'm gonna go after compress first because compress will probably try to like hide deku anyway so uh we're gonna go ahead and we're going to buff mina's health we're gonna do this and then we're actually going to get the last stands going here i think first and that will also raise our crit rate as well so hopefully that'll allow mina to hit a little bit harder that's the goal here i think defense down Man evasion to everybody that works out. Dodge that, beautiful. And nobody got bound, so we're good. And they were hitting Mina. Mina is still above 50% health though, so we do have speed advantage still. And this looks pretty good. Right, let's see how much she can do. Like, still not the most damage, right? 8,400 is about what that was with the two hits that went through. It isn't multi-hit attack, technically. But like, uh, she's she's really good for utility. Like, look at the healing. The healing's great. But like, damage-wise, I'm not really feeling it with her. All right, so he's dead. That Bakugo is hurt. All right, there's Minas plus Ultra, but they had evasion. Can't really do anything about that. Oh, she's getting kind of low, but she does have last stance, so it should be okay. Uh, we're gonna try to we need to go after Deku now like right now um, Yeah, we're actually gonna do it like this. I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill Deku I think I'm just gonna have to live with uh, it is what it is Unfortunately 
Mina is actually uh, doing surprisingly well, though, in terms of, like, just staying alive. Yeah, we're gonna have to go after the others. Okay, so I guess we got through Bakugo here. We might actually end up losing people simply because this Deku is ridiculous. Deku is so hard to beat. Oh my gosh, Bakugo! Okay, we're still alive. Look at the healing, look at the healing though! The healing is nuts! The healing is absolutely nuts. Do we still have last stands on Bakugo right now though? That's the question. Uh, we do, we do. Okay, we're, we're actually chilling. We're big chilling. Uh, I think we win this maybe still? I don't know, the, the Deku still scares the crap out of me. But I think we can still win this, just maybe not a perfect. Uh, that should, okay. And then dead. Okay, removed his buffs, now dead, okay. We can live with that. Um, there's no point in targeting Deku right now because we can't really do much to him. We're gonna do this for the extra last stands, right? The nice thing about having Mina is like, you have these turns in between where you might not have last stands from Yurozu. Well, now we, oh, I was gonna say, well, now we have them from Mina, but uh, apparently it doesn't mean anything. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think we still, we're okay. Mina died, but like that utility though, the healing though, Absolutely insane. All right, and let's do this. And we've won this. It's just a matter of like not getting the perfect because this deck, this deck, if you want to ruin perfects, put this deck on defense. You do have to build uh, your team a certain way though to like make sure he is able to get to turn five because if they kill him before turn five, uh, then he's not able to uh, do as much. All right, and this Deku should die this turn. All right, and he's dead. Okay, that worked out for us. We lost two characters, but hey, I would say uh, Mina definitely got a chance to shine right there. Let's take a look at how much damage she did. So ignore the loss in the background right there. That was from me uh, being dumb and I had to switch an EX skill on Mina <laughs> because she wasn't getting her plus ultra gauge. So I just backed out forfeited and restarted the uh, match. So that's what you see right there with the attack lose. This is the actual match, the attack win right here where we did 91,000 damage with Mina. Like not the most damage, but like overall, I feel like her utility for healing and stuff was pretty decent. 91,000 damage though, really not that much. So I stand by what I said in my tier list when I said she doesn't do the most damage, but I feel like she is still a useful character. At the same time though, running a team like this, it's kind of rough to try and run a team like this when Bakugo is like your only real big source of damage. So you need like two damage characters and one healer. It works typically a little bit better than two healers that are primarily focused on healing and one damage dealer, right? But with that said, let's try another match. I don't know if I dare to do this. This one might end up really badly for me, but I'm gonna attempt it anyways. It is a secret battle. It could be it could be a really easy team too. Uh, we are in top four, we're right below Legend. So sometimes people set their teams to like SRs and rares and Legends. So I might just get like a, a gimme. Uh, this could also be freaking the number one person in Ultra Arena. So hard to say, <laughs> we'll see how this goes. And okay, I mean, it's a decent team. It's got compressed, it's got Celebration or Raka. It's not a gimme team, that's for sure. I am a little bit nervous. I feel like Compress is the one we want to probably go after, but at the same time, ooh, yeah, I'm gonna do it this way. I am terrified of the bind, so uh, yeah, I think this is just safer for me right now to do it this way. So that's what we're gonna do. As long as they don't throw off my skill chains, I have a chance. If they, the second your skill chains get thrown off, it makes it a lot harder. All right, so we got the resist uh, from to the bind and stuff like that, so that's good. All right, now we need to just block his buffs. All right, buff block, remove his buffs. That's all great. So compress, compress should be dying very, very soon. He's not going to be able to do nothing. No healing for him. There we go. Easy, easy kill. So using these two on turn two, or yeah, turn two right there, it actually works really well for like killing a character quickly, as you saw. But then from this point on, I would argue it gets a little bit tougher. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, don't stun my team, Araka, please. We'll see what happens here. Okay, here it comes. 
And she stunned Mina! Oh no, Mina might die. Oh, nope, nope, yep. Ah, dang it, man! Okay, so. Last stand's not quite enough for Mina. I do think I still have a decent chance of winning this, but the goal was to showcase Mina here, and now that she is dead, there's not much point in continuing, right? So, <laughs> not the greatest tank. It's a little bit hard to use this Mina without a tank. So let's go ahead and forfeit and try something else. All right, I've decided for the final match, I want to try taking on Poco here because as we all know, Red Aizawa can be incredibly annoying with his ability to gain evasion and draw and drop aggro. And then he's got a healer alongside him as well as a buff blocker. So like this is a relatively annoying team to go against, even if it is a lower battle power team. Battle power, honestly, if you're kind of new to My Hero Ultra Impact, or maybe you've been around for a while, if you've been around for a while, you probably know like battle power doesn't mean everything. A 430,000 team can beat a 530,000 team if it's built correctly. So battle power doesn't mean everything. Um, so this could be a, a relatively hard team for us to to match up against, but let's see how it goes. Okay, so Aizawa is going to be drawing our aggro to begin with. We're gonna go ahead and do these moves that we have been doing. All right, now we have evasion, last stance, defense down, all that good stuff. Oh no, Bakugo got sealed. I can't believe that just happened. That is actually so tragic. Uh, that's gonna F up our uh, our, our skill chains. Uh, I think we just wait. Yeah, we're gonna just take the L on not being able to do anything this turn and hope that nobody dies, right? Because they got those healings. So yeah, healing and the defense down and stuff. Bakugo might be a little bit lower than I would like, but it's okay. Hopefully he'll be all right. He has the buff lock on him. Maybe he won't be all right. He's, he's not gonna be all right. All right, so there's one hit. There's a second, and he's dead. Okay, is what it is. Now we have our own Aizawa. Uh, man, I can't believe that skill seal came in. That was so freaking annoying. Uh, that 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 can literally be the make or break for some of these battles. Annoying. Well, now we basically lost our damage, but we have a tank still, but at the same time, it's like, it doesn't really help us. So, yeah, we're in a bit of trouble. Um, I guess we try to buff him, right, because he's our tank, and we just go from there. Okay, oh, he actually got the kill big. That, that might be helpful. Maybe. <laughs> And now he's bound, dude. This Aizawa we're going against is popping off. I hate this. I hate this so much. Um, yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna wait. This sucks. This actually sucks. And now we're okay. Now we got stunned as well. Nice, stunned and bound. Aizawa is not having a good day. Um, we go after this Bakugo, right? Yeah, we go after him. Heal, defense down. Okay, not the best damage. It's gonna be rough. We don't really have a great damage dealer. At least their Aizawa isn't healing, so we've been able to like kind of make some progress here. If they just put uh, a healer in like on a sub slot, it probably would work out better for them actually. All right, so that guy's dead. All right, let's see what you can do, Mina. Come on, come on. Uh this is not good. The damage is just not good. Like the character, the kit, it all looks good, but the damage, the damage is not there. It's probably a little bit better, like a lot better, significantly better at uh, level 130. But uh, yeah, for right now, I th I'd say mostly use her for her utility if you're gonna use her. Like obviously this is kind of working actually with a defensive unit. It's kind of crazy it's working without having like any great damage, I'm surprised. That could very well change uh, if this Aizawa hurts us at all right here with this plus ultra, we'll see. That was finally a good hit. That was a good hit with the acid. Okay, and we got sealed again, bro, and bound again. He's just taking the hits. He's just taking them like a champ though. All right, that one's dead. And now we finally, okay, we win this. We win these. Mina, finish it. No, he has evasion. Oh my goodness. Okay, whatever. There we go. That was a process. Holy moly, that 
freaking skill seal at the beginning on Bakugo was rough. Their Aizawa was absolutely popping off. So Red Aizawa, there's a perfect example of why he is so freaking annoying. Um, this was meant to be a Mina showcase, but I guess you got to see how good uh, Red Aizawa is on both teams because like he obviously helped my team out a lot right there to win that. And then also was just doing a lot for their team as well. But Mina, I feel like the first match was a very good showing of how much her healing and stuff like that can help. And I feel like she does have good utility with the speed and stuff for the team. Like I always had speed advantage. Like that's something that can't be overlooked. The speed advantage is really, really crucial in PVP and it helps you out a lot. So I feel like she does have advantages. Her biggest lackluster thing is just that she lacks damage overall, which once again, I would argue could potentially be fixed by getting her to level 130. Is she gonna be like the highest damage dealer at that point? No, probably not but she would be a lot more viable in my opinion. So I think she's a good support and becomes even better probably at level 130. So as a general pool unit, I do think she is a fairly decent general pool unit, but still even now the foe 100% Deku, absolutely insane. Like if you haven't gotten him yet and you're watching this video on his banner style at the time of watching this video, pull for him because he is just a really, really good general pool unit. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider going down there, hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button. And thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.